This is Windows XP if it's released in 2007, and in my opinion, it looks pretty interesting. Straight into the desktop, we got the different variant of Blitz, very good, and the taskbar looks more arrow. And hey, there's a sidebar, pretty cool right? <laughs> yeah, this is Windows XP arrow, let's move on to the setup. The text mode setup doesn't have any significant changes like other Windows XP mods that I've looked at. But what's changing is the boot screen, with this monochrome Windows XP logo remade with Sego UI as the font and Vista progress bar. What's more interesting is the changes that are made in the second setup phase. Yeah, the graphics have been updated to match Vista's error design. Personal opinion though, this is very nice to take a look at since my personal favorite design is actually Vista's arrow, full stop. And take a look at this OB video. The OB is also redesigned to utilize arrow design, but it comes with a cost. No help icon assistant thingy, whether you need it or not. <laughs> For goodness sake, the login screen is very beautiful with the time and date indicator at the upper left right corner. Yeah, please. This gives me a longhorn vibe. Back on the desktop. By looking at the start menu, apart from the error design, the app list at the left uses small icons by default. And the my prefix on library such as documents, pictures, music, and computer has been removed to make it in line with Vista's naming. Oh gosh, the icon. I'm really addicted to Fritiga error's icon design. Opening with this explorer, you can see that the drive icon has been changed to Vistas. And the disk space indicator has been added at the bottom of the icon right there. Yeah, nice touch. Taskbane also gets a new floating animation. Excuse my laggy VM because I'm still running the VM on my Lenovo laptop since I got a new Dell laptop now. <laughs> Alright, apart from that, the Azure Spare has been revamped to use breadcrumb system like what Windows Vista uses. Speaking of the interface, the window layout is still Windows XP's, but the design is trying to replicate error design while still using XP's color scheme, as you can see here with the caption boxes. And the system font has been changed to Sego UI. Document and settings folder has been changed to users like in Windows Vista. When you open the Windows XP Aero disk, it will launch the order run that is actually ported from Vista. But when I want to use it, I can't. Dang it! Search has been changed to use new Windows desktop update variants of Search if I remember correctly, although it's nice in design. I can't rely on it to find files as it will always says it's not found. Womp womp. And I really miss Rover too. But hey, we can spawn the XP version yet again with the link at the bottom right corner. And there it is, Rover with its reliable search. Yeah, this search is more reliable than the dumb <coughs> Windows 10 and 11 search. Moving on to sample media, yes, this mod brings new sample media in which I can only play it for less than 5 seconds before I got a yellow dollar sign and a copyright claim. Yuck. Sample pictures are also available here. And sample video too, which are taken from Windows Vista. But actually I can't play it properly at the moment, sad face. After restart, now we can see apps that are ported from Windows Vista such as Paint, Sound Recorder, and games like chess, which I quickly give up because my brain is too numb. And can you believe it? Reversi! <laughs> you can't get it on either XP or Vista, aren't you? <laughs> Internet Explorer 7 and Windows Media Player 11 is bundled with this mod. Snipping tool is also available in here. Also, don't forget about Windows Defender and Windows Calendar. One interesting app that's included in here or at least installed is Timershot. Timershot, 
which I don't really know how it works, but I assume that this is a webcam app, which will count down the capture perhaps. Tell me in the comments if you know what it is. Sticky notes, which is a feature from the tablet PC edition, is there if you want to write anything or if you want to install this on a tablet. And for journaling, you get Windows Journal. Like modern Windows with pressing shift, upon right clicking the desktop or any folder, you can open command prompt. But in this mod, you don't need to press shift to do it. Now that's what I call a better user experience. Another change in user experience is the personalization control panel, which is taken from Windows Vista. It is functional and it links to the corresponding settings. Sound scheme is taken from Windows Vista somehow. And there are a bunch of new wallpapers and screensavers. For example, this Windows Energy screensaver, which is literally eye candy. A little nice touch is the Automatic Updates applet, which has been renamed to Windows Update. Oh, you think that nice touch is just that? Nope! This comes with a new AutoTab look too! Although it's not the same as Windows Vista, but this, yeah, this is pretty good. How many times did I say good with this mod? Since this is based on Windows XP, of course you can use this on all the computers or try it on a VM yourself. I really appreciate the work made by Nico Unshot, formerly known as Mudo BI. Yeah, she's the same person who made Windows MESE. For a Windows mod, this is really well made and consistent, unlike bootlegs that try to look like Vista, and it either ended up over-exaggerating, or just poorly made. Wait, what? This more? Really? For God's sake! Apparently, there's an extra pack for this mod. I think the reason why it isn't bundled with the OS by default is to not make it feel like a bootleg, and make it not bloated. Yeah, I see that. With a whopping 2 gigabytes of size, I'm sure this came with so many extras, right? Oh look, there's text file which explain what has been added. Alright, let's look at each of them. We got new games installed such as Holden Poika, Microsoft Tinker, and 3D Pinball. Uh, uh, what? Are you telling me that pinball wasn't installed the whole time? I'm sure I'm reading the correct script, right? But anyways, here's me playing pinball. Extra Pack also bundles so many WMP skins. By so many, I mean too many. Oh, also you get extra user pictures from Vista and 7. Not only that, you get extra sample music like what the heck? And also extra sample pitches? Whoa, 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 whoa! Extra sound scheme? Extra mouse scheme? Extra window theme? My gosh, now I know why it's 2 gigs in size. Okay, there are a bunch of themes that I can try. Watercolor, yeah, nice. But Arrow 7 style? Please be transparent, please, please, please! Ah, too bad XP doesn't directly support with the transparency. Or either Nico doesn't currently know how to properly implement a transparent version. But otherwise, it's good. I'm not even very much complaining about it because there are more themes in here that I can definitely try. There is Calculator, ported from build 6509, and Paint, ported from build 6568. Wait! There are more wallpapers and screensavers? Oh yeah, totally. There are too many. Okay, okay. So, the mod is bundled with so many changes and so many extras if you install it. I can't imagine how many hours would it put to get these things together. And I can't wait for you to 